In 1932, the first dirigible connection from coastal city Michigan to Washington, D.C. was established. Dozens of new ones were introduced in the following years. It was Alexander Warren's ingenious automated station system set up on city rooftops that allowed for this peculiar way of transport to work so well in coastal city. Today, no one is shocked anymore when someone says, I'm going to visit my daughter in New York and enters the nearest skyscraper to take an elevator to the roof. Thank you, Mr. Warren. Coastal City, established back in 1712, is the premier city in the great state of Michigan. Located on the southern bank of Saginaw Bay, it was always considered a major industrial power in the United States. But only when a famous eccentric urban engineer, Alexander Warren, became its mayor, did the city really start to shine. Divided into four major districts and a dozen smaller ones, Coastal City is home for over 7 million Americans, hailing from all over the world. This is it, the city of the future, the dream of Alexander Warren. Multi-layered, modern city center with controllable traffic, automatic pressure-activated street lamp system, and hundreds of other inventions made flesh. What I love the most are the engine angels that ward Halcyon from the west, just by the Armstrong Bridge. What a sight for the tourists. When Alexander Warren started to modernize Coastal City, he chose Halcyon Isle, then known simply as the city, to be the heart of his design. Rerouting all industrial transport underground and to the skies, he opened the streets to cars and pedestrians. Multi-layered systems of moving sidewalks, escalators, and even car lifts allowed for effortless movement in this new city center. Nearly nothing was left from the old, unremarkable design of the city. And on the rubble of the past, a shining halcyon isle rose to spread its wings. Are you sure this thing's recording? Yeah, right. So, I'm Randall Kaiser. Kaiser means prince in German, you know? So, that's me. Oh, you want to know about the rats? <laughs> okay, see, we're the real deal here. All the streets, tracks, and rooftops belong to us when we ride through the city at night. <laughs> yeah, when you wake up in the night because of loud engines roaring outside your flat, that's us. Even if you live on floor 75, nowhere is out of bounds. <laughs> Lakeport is a strange district. Lying by the shore of Saginaw Bay, it hosts both the cheap and dirty docks district and the most expensive private properties in Coastal. People pay crazy money to buy a villa with a view of the bay. Warren's restructurization of the city somehow missed Lakeport, and you can still see what the city once was before the technological boom. <laughs> <laughs> 